Hi, we are going to talk about manipulating thermochemical equations. Uh, there are going to be some things that you'll do in thermochemistry um, that you're going to have to play with these equations just a little bit. Hess's law is a really good example of that. Okay, so what does this tell us? This tells us if we have one mole of xenon plus one mole of fluorine, it is going to produce one mole of xenon difluoride. This reaction releases 123 kilojoules per mole. Sorry, I didn't write the unit. Um, is exothermic. Well, I could multiply this whole reaction by a factor. So let's do, we do multiply, multiply. Um, let's multiply this whole reaction by two. Now notice I'm including the delta H our enthalpy, and we multiply this whole thing through by two. I uh, remember that's just a ratio. So I could equally say with 100% truth, two moles of xenon plus two moles of fluorine equals two moles of the xenon difluoride. Now conservation of energy. When I have this as written, one mole releases um, 123 kilojoules. If I double the amount, double the energy will be released. So here's your big takeaway. Whatever you do to the equation, you do to the delta H. So the delta H is also multiplied by two. So that two distributes not only to every coefficient, but also to the enthalpy. So two times negative 123 is going to give us negative 246 kilojoules per mole. Now we could also divide it. Same, same principle. Let's half it. I only have half a mole of xenon. So this is going to be if we divide. Plus half a mole of fluorine yields half a mole of the xenon difluoride. So if I have half the substance, it's going to release half the energy. Whatever you do to the reaction, you do to the delta H, the enthalpy. So if we divide that by two, Delta H is going to be negative 61.5 kilojoules per mole. Nice. Now, one other thing that, thing that we could do, we could flip the reaction. We could go in the reverse direction. So here I'm producing xenon difluoride. Well, let's flip that, okay? If I flip this, let's say that I have, I start with the xenon difluoride, and instead of being a synthesis, it's going to be decomposition. We break it into the xenon plus the fluorine, the delta H, and you're thinking conservation of energy. What's going to happen to delta H? Here it releases that much energy, conservation of energy. If we go backwards, it requires, it's going to absorb that much energy. So big takeaway, super easy, change the sign. So instead of it being a negative 123 exothermic, this is a positive 123 kilojoules per mole endothermic, endothermic. So whenever you have a reaction, it's going in this direction. If you reverse it, go in the reverse direction, it takes um, that same amount of energy, um, just the opposite. Either, in this case, instead of exothermic, it becomes endothermic. So you switch the sign. So um, main umbrella. Uh, whatever you do to the chemical equation due to delta H. If you multiply or divide, multiply or divide the delta H. If you reverse the reaction, you flip it, change the sign. There you have it, all the rules. Have a wonderful day.